Yo, what's going on guys? Alright, so in this video I'm gonna show how you can add NPCs to your Minecraft server. Before we begin, I wanna tell you that Citizens plugin is paid, but wait. You can also download Citizens for free from their CI. It's completely legal, and they have mentioned in their Spigot MC page that you can use it without putting your server into risk. As always, link will be in description, so you can check out the plugin. Also, before heading towards the video, I want to tell you that most of you guys watch my video but not subscribe. Please subscribe so we can complete our goal of 2,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. So without wasting any time, let's hop into today's video. So first we need to download Citizen's plugin. You can either purchase from Spigot MC or use this page to download it for free. If you're going to use Citizen's plugin on latest Minecraft version, you'll have to download the latest build in the CI. If you're using older versions, like 1.204, you'll have to search for older builds in the page manually. If you have bought the Citizen's plugin on Spigot MC, it'll be easier for you to download the plugin for specific version, as it will be mentioned in the version history tab. After you've found the plugin version suitable for your server, download it and upload to your plugins folder. Let's begin by creating an NPC. You can use slash NPC create command and name the NPC. I'm going to call it Bedwars and make it connect to my Bedwars server. By default, it's going to have the skin of the premium player with the name you used to create the NPC. But we can change that. For that, you can use name MC, skin decks or any other platform that provide player skin name or skin URL image. For this video, I'm going to use Skindex for skin URL. As always, the link will be in description. In Skindex, go to the search bar and search for the skin you want. For me, I want the Bedwars NPC skin from Hypixel. And you can see, we got the skin we want to use for our NPC. Now click on the skin and get the skin image URL. After copying the image URL, go to your game. Now run the slash npc skin dash URL command and paste the skin URL you copied from Skindex. Then press enter. Now you can see that our NPC has the skin we wanted. There are thousands of skin on Skindex you can use. Now you can make the NPC look at players to make your server more lively. You can easily do it by using slash NPC look command. Now you can see that the NPC will look at me when I go near to it. You can also give your NPC the glowing effect to make the NPC more eye catching. Use slash NPC glowing command and choose the color you want. There are a variety of color options you can use. You can see how cool it looks. You can change the color by using that same command again. For now I'm going to use white color to make it match with the NPC skin. You can also set hologram for the NPC. Firstly, you should hide the name of NPC by using slash NPC name command. You can see that the NPC's name is now hidden. For showing your server's player count, you might need the placeholder API plugin. You can download the plugin from Spigot MC. As always, the links will be in description. Use slash poppy ecloud download bungee command to download the bungee extension. Don't worry. It will work on both bungee cord and velocity. Now we also need the player extension for player details, such as name. We will use this in future for the NPC commands. After you've installed both bungee and player extension, use slash PAPI reload command to load those extensions. Now you can add holograms to the NPC by using slash NPC hologram add command. You can use the color codes and use percent bungee server name percent placeholder to get player count in a server. The bungee placeholder will show players in that server. Now you can add lines to the NPC by using slash NPC hologram add command. You can see that we have added these beautiful hologram to our NPC. 
You can also use slash NPC clone to clone the NPC. Now let's add command to our NPC to make it send to the server when we click on it. Use slash NPC CMD add dash P server and then enter the server name. Here P stands for player command, O for operator console commands. You can also use dash R to execute on right click and dash L for execute on left click. As you can see, the NPC now sends players to the server that you have set in the command. You can use it to send players to specific servers you want. You can also make the NPC hold items in its hand or offhand. You can also make it equip armor, elytra, etc. Use slash NPC equip command and the menu will be opened for you where you can add items to the NPC's armor or item slot. You can see the NPC is holding the item which I gave to it. This video is brought to you by Host Fusion. Host Fusion is Minecraft hosting for your budget. Their Minecraft plan starts from $0.75 per gig of RAM. This hosting has latest generation processors such as Ryzen 95950X and global worldwide location for less latency for your players. Use my code CXGAME15 for 15% off for first month. So now, let's get back into the video. You can also create NPC of different types like villagers, zombies, creepers, and more. There are many type of mobs you can choose from. Just use the command slash NPC create, then name of the NPC, then add double dash type and the NPC type. For example, I'm gonna choose villager. Now we have created villager NPC. You can also create different types of NPC that is suitable for your need. Now let's make the NPC look and NPC equip item. Also, you can rename the NPC if you have misspelt it or you want to change the name of it. You can also use color codes in slash NPC rename command. Let's now make the NPC give enchanted golden apple to player who clicks on it. Let's make the villager give item to the player with cooldown. For that, we'll use slash NPC CMD add command, then add dash O, and add the give command. For this, make sure you have installed placeholder API to use percent player name percent placeholder. You can also set path for NPC, that will make the NPC move like a player but on specified path. For that let's create a new NPC, that will follow the specified path. I'm gonna set its skin to a player, for that you can use slash NPC skin without adding dash dash URL. You can enter name of any premium players you want. You can see that the skin of the NPC has been updated. Now let's rename it and give it some armor and weapons and set the path for it.
You can enter its waypoint editor by using the slash NPC path command. Now you'll have to left click on the blocks where you want the NPC to go to. NPC will follow it and return back to the waypoint you set. Now you can see that NPC is following the waypoint that I've set. To select an NPC you can use slash NPC cell or slash NPC select command. You can also make the NPC follow the player by using slash NPC follow command. Now the NPC will follow wherever you go to. To make it stop following you, you can use slash NPC follow command again. To make the NPC take damage from hit, fall, etc. or any other natural ways you can use slash NPC vulnerable command. This will make the NPC vulnerable. There are many things that you can do with the NPC that cannot be covered in this video. You can pair citizens with the Denizen plugin to unlock more possibilities on the plugin. Using Denizen, you can write scripts for your NPC, make it attack you, and even code an AI for it. Use slash NPCSL and then slash NPC remove command to remove the NPC from your server. You can click on undo to bring back your NPCs. There is also a reload command in Citizens before you reload. Make sure that you run the save command and then reload the Citizens plugin, otherwise you might lose all the NPCs you made. You can also remove move clone NPCs by the NPC ID. To find your NPC's ID use slash NPC list command. From there you can do anything with your NPC, such as deleting, teleporting to it, or teleporting it to you. That'll be it for this video I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching.